to you, Captain Austin Fish Room, Jeff Crow's Revive, bringing you another video. Uh, exciting day today, it's Monday, so we're going to do a fish room update. Uh, really, really, really exciting video today, so make sure you uh, watch. Just watch, that's all I'm going to tell you. Uh, we're going to go over a few things, I'm going to show you all a few things, uh, i.e. some new plants that I got in. Uh, but the star of the show is coming at the end of the video, so make sure you stay till the end, guys. You're not going to want to miss this. Uh, it's been long overdue, and, you know, that's pretty much all I can say about it. It's, it's long overdue. Did I just spit again? Damn it. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, long overdue, and uh, it's really exciting to finally get to this stage of finishing this project. I can't explain to you how excited I am. Uh, there's only one thing that I have to deal with before we can start throwing it all together and get it running, uh, and I'll go over that inside the video. So with that said, guys, take a look at this awesomeness, and we will be right back, I hope. Alright, so we're back, and I hope y'all are back with me. Um, if you aren't, I'm sorry you had to leave, but I hope you come back later and finish watching this video, because it's gonna be dope! But, uh, sorry for yelling at you. Uh, just really hyped today. Really, really hyped. But, uh, this tank is doing just remarkably well. Um, I'm really surprised. Uh, the algae that I actually had in there that came from the 40 breeder where I pulled these Sunset Crips out and these Madagascar laces uh, is actually receding and it's actually starting to grow. You can see the Blixa japonica is just booming, okay? I mean, look at that. If you go back to past videos, uh, that is just looking lush, okay? You can see my uh, SP Japan back there kind of growing. I got it kind of sporadically through here. You can see some more on the driftwood up there. Uh, but got some new plants in from my buddy Ryan. Uh, me and my buddy Ryan are doing a trade. Uh, I'm going to be sending him some crib cichlids and some various other plants that I have. Uh, and he sent me, like, <laughs> I can't even explain the, the, the amount of plants that I got from Ryan, okay? It, just awesome, okay? So Ryan, if, uh, well, I hope you're watching this. Uh, if you're watching, thanks, buddy. I really appreciate it. And your package will be leaving sometime this week, uh, hopefully with weather permitting, okay? I hope you understand, uh, you know, because I'm sending you some fish, bro, uh, I want them to get there to you alive. So, uh, but my buddy Ryan, he actually sent me this sword plant, uh, one of my favorite from the shipment. I mean, it's just a beautiful sword, you can see. Uh, it's, you know, it's just beautiful. Uh, but go back and check um, uh, previous videos, guys, uh, and look at that Madagascar lace. Oh my god, this thing is booming inside this tank. Look at that. Just curling over, and look at the leaf structure, guys. Uh, anybody that hasn't kept Madagascar lace, either because you think it's hard to keep, or you know you think it's a, an advanced plant or something like that, guys, uh, go on and get you a Madagascar Lace. I promise you, you will be able to keep it as long as you have a good idea of how an aquarium works. Okay, this plant is not hard to keep. Just keep it around a little bit of flow, not too much light, you know, kind of medium high light, and it will grow for you. Okay, you can see here I have uh, two of these plants actually. Uh, you can see one is right there, and it's starting to come up. You can see that, but uh, the bigger one, I actually pulled both of these out of the 40 breeder in, you know, about four to five days after putting it in here. I mean, it really started perking up, okay? And uh, it's just looking amazing. But uh, I made a video about Madagascar laces and how it was in the 40 breeder with some cichlids, some, act I mean, some really boisterous fish. And uh, I even got it to flower, okay? This plant had algae on it and everything else. Uh, so it's not a hard plant to keep. Don't let anybody tell you that it's a hard plant to keep because it's not, okay? If you have a basic understanding of how aquariums and planted tanks work, you can grow this plant, I promise. Check out that ghost shrimp right there. Dopeness. But, uh... 
Yeah, and all the fish that I have in here are doing great. I uh, also got some of these, uh, you can see that crypt right there. I got that from my buddy Ryan, and that one right there from my buddy Ryan, along with this Rotala. got some more back there. Uh, just doing awesome. Uh, but the, uh, oh, a little update down here before I show you all the rest is I made another one of these moving bed filters or fluidized bed filters, whatever you want to call it, with the Hema beads. Uh, I used a vitamin water bottle and I just loaded it up and it's actually working very very well here hold on let me get a let me get a flashy light but uh, you can see uh, working really well let me try to get you a good shot of it yeah you can kinda see it there but uh, all the beads inside are tumbling uh, the one over here is still doing excellent uh, but now we'll go over here and I'll show y'all the rest of the well most of the rest of the stuff that I got from my buddy uh, he also sent me some immerse grown glosso uh, and anybody that you know is getting immersed plants or something like that and you have one of these plant pots laying around uh, get you an old busted up net or some kind of netting some pantyhose or something put it in there rubber band it to where it fits inside of the pot and then you can actually hang your immerse grown plants just like that until you're ready to do something with them and they'll stay great okay so little DIY tip for you but the star of today's show is all this pearl weed okay my buddy Ryan is selling it on eBay the link like I said will be inside the description uh, it's funny though because the package that he sent me it said on the on the uh, bag one to two stems of pearl weed and uh, you know of course he was joking because look at this massive softball size of pearl weed there um, whenever I get plants like that, I like to soak them and swish them around like that. It gets all the, you know, all the stuff that died off during shipment off. Uh, it lets it soak. It lets it get all the, you know, all the stuff off of it. So I do that for a little bit with plants like that. And uh, it's doing awesome. But uh, we'll just say we got a lot of pearl weed now. And, of course, no video would be complete without checking out my F1 TriMac Odin. He's just stellar. Just stellar. Look at that guy. Y'all want to see me pet him? Okay. He's hungry, so he might bite me, actually. All right, buddy. I'm going to try to pet you. There we go. Good boy. Good boy. Look at that guy. Beautiful fish. Uh, I do a fasting with my fish uh, once a month, so they're actually fasting today. Otherwise, I would feed them for you. Uh, but another thing, we'll come down here and we'll check this guy out. He's starting to get a little attitude. If I can get him to... I know what to get. I know what to get him out. I know what to get him out. Let's uh, let's do this right here, and then we'll go to the to the big update of the day. Let me get him out so y'all can see his little attitude here. Look at this guy. Look at that guy. He's just getting a big old attitude. Starting to look real good. Look at him. look at him coming after the phone now. But uh, he's doing excellent, guys. Uh, he's growing. As you can see, he's getting some really, really nice colors uh, and the striping on that fish. And then there's the female. Uh, she gets all worked up whenever I get close with a camera and stuff. Uh, but the star of today's show, check that out, guys. Check it out. All right, I got the sump all cleaned up, and I'm waiting on a few parts from a buddy, but uh, here you go, Doc, or Conway. Conway Stevens, uh, his new nickname is Doc, okay, because he's the doctor of the fishes. Uh, but there's those holes, man. Uh, let me give you a, well, I don't know where, there it is. Uh, let me give you an idea of size. I know I already sent you the dimensions, uh, but all these holes, all the big ones anyway, are right, there you go. See, about one and a quarter, and then this one, about a half to a three quarter. But uh, I got the sump all cleaned up, and I'm just waiting on those patch ups. That's what I was talking about inside the intro uh, that I need to patch up those holes, uh, and then this thing will be ready to rock and roll. I cut a sponge that I got from Swiss Tropicals, I cut it to fit. Also, cut some egg crate and cut it to fit with. Uh, some PVC, I cut about an inch long pieces and just zip corded it uh, to where it sits just above where the sponge here, uh, where water will go through that sponge. I'm sorry, my, my bulldog Macy is taking up so much room here. My, 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 my fish room, my fish room wooga mama. 
But uh, got the egg crate in there, so the sump is ready to go, and then all I have to do is hook up uh, what I got to plumb the sump to the actual aquarium. And with the aquarium in mind, I know you saw those lights flicker. Boom! I got the lighting installed. Beware of attack fish. I'm not joking. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got the light installed. This is a four bulb T5 HO fixture. Check out that bracelet I got, by the way. The green and orange. The man's made this for me. More specifically, Mrs. Man, thank you so much. I love this bracelet. It's so cool. Uh, but the idea behind this bracelet is my favorite color is green. Uh, my wife has MS, as you can see from the MS ribbon with her initials right there. Uh, and the color for that is orange. So, uh, pretty cool stuff. Thank you all. I uh, got it in the mail today and put it right on my wrist. I love it. But, uh, yeah, I got the light hung. It's, uh, it's hung. I drilled uh, two one-inch holes and then just connected this chain, uh, and I zip-corded it to height. I did this because I didn't want to cut the chain. Uh, I want to be able to move this up and down at my leisure. You know, If I want to move it down, I want to be able to do that without having to reconnect chain and stuff like that. So I just use zip cords, uh, and they can actually hold a lot of weight. So I uh, got the egg crate cut to fit for the bottom of the aquarium. We got the standpipe in. Uh, it's all set up with the bulkhead, all that is sealed into place. Uh, so we'll go under here and we'll check that out. Um, I have the the tubing, you can see right over there. Uh, it's going to go over this P piece of PVC and then I'm going to use uh, one of those metal uh, hose clamps to put that into place and it's going to go right over here and then uh, go through the mechanical, go through the biological, go through the sponge and into the refugium area where my heater and everything else is gonna be. So, exciting stuff. Look forward to a Jaguar sexing video this week too. Uh, my buddy John Broussard actually bought some of my F1 Jags for my wild caught pair a while back and uh, he you know, asked me to make a video of how to sex those fish. Uh, so I have a sexing video coming up this week and uh, make sure you stay tuned for that because nobody else has made a sexing video for Central and South American cichlids like this video so make sure you stay tuned for that be prepared and with that said guys I hope you all enjoyed the fish room update I know we didn't get to look at all of my fish but I hope you all understand and as always I hope you all enjoyed be sure to rate comment subscribe go check out aquatic support systems on Facebook this is what I'm doing this is what I've done be sure to rate comment subscribe and we'll see y'all next time adios folks